Prince Harry's memoir, titled Spare, will be released worldwide on January 10 next year. Prince Harry got in touch with some of his friends in England and ex-girlfriends over the summer to ask whether they could help with his book, it has been sensationally claimed. These associates of the Duke of Sussex were reportedly asked to open up on some intimate areas of Harry's life, including his relationships and upbringing. This request, one source claimed, was seen as ironic by some of the people the royal reached out to, given how in the past Harry had asked his close contacts to remain tight, lipped about his private life and to not speak with the media about him. The source told The Sun, friends and girlfriends were polite and said they would think about it but ultimately most said no. It was felt to be kind of ironic Harry would hit the roof if he ever had an inkling they spoke to the media, but now wants them to when he needs their help. It is not known whether Chelsea Davy and Cressida Bonas, who famously dated Prince Harry for years, were among the people approached by the Duke for his book. Express.co.uk has contacted representatives of the Duke of Sussex and of the publishers of his book, Penguin Random House, for comment. This claim comes a few days after Penguin Random House shared new details about Prince Harry's book. The Duke of Sussex organization, Artool, announced he was penning an intimate memoir in July last year, which would be the definitive account of the experiences, adventures, losses, and life lessons that have helped shape him. On Thursday, his publisher sent shockwaves through the world as it revealed the title of the book will be Spare, referred to the air in Spare saying. The memoir, to be released worldwide on January 10, has been described by the publisher as a landmark publication full of insight, revelation, self-examination, and hard, one wisdom about the eternal power of love over grief. It will, Penguin Random House added. Feature raw, unflinching honesty as the Duke speaks about his story in his own words. The death of Diana, Princess of Wales, is likely to be central to the book, as the publisher chose to focus its promotion around the image of Harry and Prince William walking behind her coffin during her funeral. The book's description released on Thursday read, It was one of the most searing images of the 20th century, two young boys, two princes, walking behind their mother's coffin as the world watched in sorrow and horror. As Diana, Princess of Wales, was laid to rest, billions wondered what the princes must be thinking and feeling. and how their lives would play out from that point on. For Harry, this is that story at last. After new details were shared, many commentators agreed the memoir could be damaging or at least distressing for the royal family. Na Gardner, a royal family enthusiast and foreign policy expert, told Express.co.uk, There has rightfully been a lot of reaction to the release, and I anticipate this is going to be an angry and bitter book. It is one that could cause a great deal of damage to the royal family. The tone of book, based on the title Spare and the front cover, looks to be very dark. It may well be the publishing equivalent of a grenade being thrown into Buckingham Palace. Similarly, royal author Pauline McLaren, professor at Royal Holloway, University of London, said that, depending on the nature of the remarks in the memoir and the level of criticism against the royals, there is bound to be a lot of content that distresses the royals, whether on Harry's account and the pain he has suffered or the criticisms he levels at other members of his family.